everyone, look at me. So this is where I'm camped on the Macaw Indian Reservation. And just over that berm, on the other side of those little trees, is the beach. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And tonight, there's going to be a lunar eclipse, the last lunar eclipse for until like 2032 or something, for a very long time. So, it, oh, last night when the moon rose, it was so beautiful. So, I decided to stay one more night and watch the lunar eclipse from here. But I have to show you right on the other side, I got to show you this beach. It's an absolutely gorgeous autumn day, and I seem to have stumbled across like this little surfer's paradise. If I didn't know any better, I would think I was in like Santa Cruz or something. But this is the Macaw Indian Reservation in Northwest Washington on basically the northwesternmost point of the contiguous US. So who knew? It's <laughs> It's really perfect here, it's amazing. I'm at Shai Shai Beach. I had to find a little corner here where I could talk because it's a little windy and uh, the surf is a little noisy. Uh, but yeah, this is Shai Shai Beach uh, in the Olympic National Park. It's basically the northernmost point uh, on the coast of the park. Um, the trailhead is actually on Macaw tribal land. So you have to park there, and then it's a two-mile hike here. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty good hike. It was very muddy, and there are some very steep sections coming down um, onto the beach at the very end. So um, it's absolutely beautiful here. There's these amazing tide pools right over there. Um, and I walked out a little ways and, and took a few shots, but basically every rock is covered with life. And I didn't want to walk very far because I didn't want to, you know, there's just sea and enemy everywhere and just all sorts of, like, life. So I didn't want to kill <laughs> all the innocent life there. So I didn't go very far out. Um, but yeah, this is a, a beautiful, beautiful beach. Um, so. If you get the chance, definitely come out here. I'm back at the campground and the sun is just now setting. And in about an hour, um, the solar or the lunar eclipse is going to start. Um, I might hang out in my trailer for another half an hour or so because the mosquitoes here are actually pretty thick. Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of the people in the campground this weekend have cleared out, so there's not a lot of people left here. But this lunar eclipse is going to be pretty epic, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm going to take as much video as I can, so I don't know how much I'll, you'll be able to see. But um, yeah, lunar eclipse. So, good morning. 
so I'm on the shore of Crescent Lake um, and yeah as you can see it's incredibly beautiful here um, I'm still in Olympic National Park of course um, the lunar eclipse was really awesome and what was really cool was there were two um, other full-timers there so there was uh, Molly Mish from uh, well it's not their name but mollymish.com I'm gonna put a link below but they've been full-timing in their Airstream since 2008 so I don't know I thought I, I got to meet them at the campground at the Macaw Tribal Lands and it was really cool and there was another couple there too whose name is now escaping me but I'm going to put a link below to both of them so you can see what families who full time are doing out there. So um, the drive to and from um, the Macaw Tribal Lands was really beautiful. It was all along the coast. And the museum there was really great. I love that museum. Um, I couldn't take any pictures in the museum, of course. So, but um, yeah, today uh, I'm at Crescent Lake, of course, like I said, and I'm gonna go do a hike at Mary Mir Falls. That's right here along the lake. And then this afternoon I'm going to Hurricane Ridge. And that's basically my last planned destination for Olympic National Park. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Um, hope you love my crazy morning hair. I don't even know what it's doing this morning. <laughs> but, yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm doing. I'm at Hurricane Ridge, and this was my last planned stop in the Olympic National Park. And as you can see, it's incredibly beautiful here. This morning, I did uh, a really wonderful little hike up to, uh, I think it's Mary Mir Falls. I think I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> and yeah, that was beautiful. It was a gorgeous place to have a breakfast. Um, yeah, and here I've been hiking around the hills, just doing some short hikes. There's some beautiful, um, some beautiful glaciers right over there. Um, I don't know if I can get them on film though, just because they're so far away. But, um, yeah, this high, kind of high alpine area, it's really beautiful. If you get a chance to come to Olympic National Park, definitely do it. Uh, and again, like early autumn, late September, this is a beautiful time to travel the national parks when kids are gone back to school. Lots of places to camp. <clears throat> yeah, not a lot of crowds, as you can tell. I have this whole ridge to myself, so yeah. So not a lot to say. <laughs> I'm just going to enjoy the scenery for a while. <laughs> <laughs> 